And good afternoon to everyone. I welcome, like my colleague and my Vice Chairman Aaron, um, Victor and John Pierre to Grenada. The stay is a bit short, but I know that they're enjoying themselves. When we met the last time, it was to launch the Carifta Games. And therefore, I want to take this opportunity to update the media as to where we are to date. All 27 countries have indicated that they would be participating in the Games. Everyone wants to come to Grenada. All of our committees are functional and they are in order. What makes a game what we want it to be? The best in the region, the best games that it can be, good and proper accommodation with good food or accommodation. <coughs> Chair Mrs. Felix Burke was the last person that we put on the committee. We want to commend her for the work that she has been doing thus far. So one of the things that we expect is good accommodation and good food for the athletes. Another thing that makes the games a good one is good transportation, a good transportation system. If the transportation is on time, we and, and the buses are always there and ready, that makes the game what it should be too. So we, we have that in place. We have all of that put in place. But we can have all of that, and if we don't have a good and well-executed program, then all will fall down. The chairman and the person behind that is Mr. Conrad Francis, and we're really working hard to ensure that our program is well-executed. We are going to do, through our Olympic Committee, some training early next year for the officials that would run the Games. We want to ensure that our officials are on par and up to date. We know that we're going to be bringing in some officials to work with us. We're going to be bringing in a starter. We're going to bring in the ATOs and the ITOs. So we're going to have a lot of AOs, whatever OS, we're going to be bringing them in to assist with the proper execution of the games. But our people are very competent people and they work very hard. So we expect that to be, um, to be going on. We're going to be doing some training with them. Notwithstanding that, we have decided that we are also going to be doing some training for the media because we want the media too to be up to date to make sure that they know what is taking place. And so the training for the media is going to be early next January also because we don't expect that the broadcast people will just come in with everybody. We expect our people to be part of the broadcast team, but we want to ensure that when they say anything and that they would be saying the correct things. So we are going to be doing that media for the media. We're going to be doing that training early next year. And so we are going to let the media know. But what is all of this without good athletes? What is all of this? Because we want people to support our athletes. You know that um, Grenadians really love track and field. And we have had a rich history. Usain was here. He won the 200 and the 400 here when he ran in Karifta here. And then we know that Okirani has really done well. His land. We have had lots of people doing well. All our, our, our field event athletes. We have a history, a rich history in the field events. And we, we're going to continue this. But we have a real a group of people, some 60, 70 of them, training to be part of the team for Carifta, and they've started their training, and they're working hard. Coach Dennis Williams is at the back. She leads the pack with all of this. And so if we have good athletes, we expect good support. We really expect good support. We expect people to come and to be part of what is happening for Carifta and to support our athletes. I want to thank, in a special way, the committee who has worked with me, I see our lawyer for our committee sitting right here, and I am um, Alvin, who I will um, beat a little later on. He has been working and done in the back then. I'm so happy to see Poggi. He, he has been called to many committees. I don't know which one he would eventually end up on, but we have had quite a number of people 
working with us, Dr. Philip or, or Claudia, most of them not here today, but they have been working hard. And as you can well imagine, we're working for Christmas. But in January, we would have to have weekly meetings to ensure that all is in place. People could love to come to Grenada, but if we don't do what we have to do correct, they would not be happy with us. And we like to be proud people. We are a small country, but we are proud people, and we know how to work hard. So I just want to say to the media that I expect you to help us announce our Carifta Games. Help us to broadcast it any time you have a chance, whether we pay you or not. Talk about the Carifta Games. And feel free to invite us to come and speak with you on the Carifta Games and how we are moving forward and developing. We depend on the support of our country for these games. And we know that we can depend on our people. We as a committee, we won't let anybody down. We will do the best that we can to ensure that the people coming to our shows, paying their money to get here, will be rewarded with a well-executed games. I thank you all for being here, and I hope that we will work together to ensure that everything comes out well for Carifta. I also want to let you know, thank you, President, I also want to let you know that this might be a historic moment for, for the Carifta Games and for NACAC, because apart from the 27 countries coming, we expect just around 800 athletes and officials to be in our island. So you can imagine what is happening. That is what we are looking forward to. That is what we are expecting. And it is all indication shows that this is going to happen. So it's going to be a record-breaking Carifta Games for our country, Grenada, and for our people, our athletes, and all of us who would work hard to ensure its success. Thank you, everyone.